My name is Katie, and I'm 37 years old. I married my husband Steve last year, and we bought a house together. Steve is 10 years younger than me. To be honest, I never dreamed that I would marry someone 10 years younger than me. When we started dating, I thought we would eventually break up, but before I knew it, we had quickly reached to marriage. Even when he proposed to me, I was the one who asked him if he was really okay to be married with me. But then, Steve replies with, I'll definitely protect you, Katie, so please marry me. I thought to myself how lucky I was to be with someone so kind and gentle. However, our newlywed life was not all lovey-dovey and didn't get to have much time alone with just the two of us. Steve's mother, Lily, completely went against our marriage and made a fuss saying, My own son, Steve, is going to leave me, his own mother, and choose that woman, that devilish woman. Lily was not at all pleased with the fact that I was 10 years older than Steve. I thought to myself that it's no surprise that she opposes me, given Steve and I's age difference. And then, Lily gave me a condition in exchange for her approval of our marriage. She demands by saying, you must live with me. I thought it was a bit too far-fetched, but Lily would not allow us to get married at all unless we obeyed her request, so we agreed. Besides, Steve at that time couldn't really ignore his mother like that. You know, my mother raised me all on her own, right? So I felt like I had to return the favor. Lily had raised Steve all alone as a single mother. Steve was grateful for that and wanted to repay by taking care of her. As for me, I couldn't really do anything to get in the way between Lily and Steve's bond, so we decided to live together. I wanted Lily to see the two of us, Steve and I, as a normal married couple and to gain her approval. We decided to live together in a house that we had purchased as our new home. We hoped that this would improve our relationship with Lily, but oh yes, we were very much mistaken. Katie, can't you even do your housework properly? What in the world have you learned at your age? This is why I hate women who are older than Steve. Lily's bullying only got worse. Like Steve, I worked overtime and often came home late, leaving me with little time to take care of the housework. With all due respect, Lily, I work just like Steve does. So please understand that I can't do everything perfectly. That's what I would say to argue back, but... You instantly disobey people who are older than you, huh? What a bossy wife you are! Hearing what she said, it looks like she gets more fired up and bullies me even more once I argue back to her. Steve, seeing all of this, says, Mother, stop talking to Katie like that. He always defended me. To that, Lily looks shocked and says, Well, Steve, honey, you weren't like this before. It's all Katie's fault that you started rebelling against your own mother. While saying this, she would wipe her tears with a tissue. And then she would give me this very cold, angry glare. This is all your fault. I don't know why Steve got married to a woman like you. This would happen every single time. Wow, I really can't believe that I'm kind of living a life of the one that you'd see in soap operas, where wives get picked on by their mother-in-laws. I guess Lily is frustrated that her beloved Steve was taken away by a wife who's way older than him, and also she just enjoys bullying me like it's her hobby. Day by day, Lily has turned into a very spoiled person and she was going out of control. I had to take care after a grandmother before I had any experience in taking care of a baby, and I was having a hard time with it. Katie, I'm sorry about this. It's okay. Thank you for always being there for me. I actually feel really bad for Steve. His own mother hated and kept on bullying who he loves. Steve, who loves me very much, has tried many times to get her to move out, but I couldn't agree to his idea. I kind of felt sorry for Lily, even though she was like that. I believe that if I just put up with it, Lily would one day understand and maybe change for the better. That's what I believed. 
but Lily's verbal abuse towards me didn't stop. On the first New Year's Day after our marriage, we gathered at a relative's house. Lily, who usually never left the house, was so happy to see and talk with people as she was in an excited mood. Every day, Katie makes excuses that she has work, but in reality, she doesn't do anything at all. And she leaves all the housework to me. Can you believe that? If she did that during our generation, that would be unacceptable, right? I really don't know where she got her common sense. Lily was talking about me to all my relatives over drinks. She talked bad things about me even here. If it was only within our family, I'd be okay as I'm used to it. But now I was getting angry by the minute. Lily's voice was so loud that her conversation, which was held in the hall, even reached me in the kitchen. One of my husband's relatives, Lisa, who was with me, says, Katie, it looks like you're having a hard time, aren't you? She called out to me, looking worried. Oh, yes, well, I'm managing somehow. Living with Lily is not a comforting experience, isn't it? Especially with Lily being like that. Well, actually, you're right. Without thinking, I let out my true feelings. Why don't you talk to Helen about it? Helen is Steve's aunt and Lily's sister. She's an older sister and she has always been kind and reliable. But would she even listen to me complaining about her own sister? While I was thinking that to myself, Katie! I heard a very loud voice echoing through the kitchen. Oh, Lily, what's wrong now? You always make me keep asking you to bring me more drinks because we're out of it. Sorry, I'll bring it out now. I sighed and hurriedly brought the beer. Lily was in the middle of chatting with her relatives and looked a little bit drunk. As I brought a cold bottle of beer and a new glass, Lily snatched it away from me and says, Katie, you really are a clumsy wife, aren't you? She says as she glares at me. Why the hell would she say that? As I was thinking this, Lily poured the beer into the glass for a relative who was sitting next to her. It's common sense to pour drinks into empty glasses, isn't it? This is what you always lack, Katie. You're really a useless person with a bad upbringing. Lily's words made everyone around look a little uncomfortable, but she didn't care. I felt that if I got angry at Lily at this point, this would put me in the same fighting ring as Lily, so I just casually decided to laugh it off. That's my mother-in-law, she really knows her way around drinks. I learn a lot from you, Lily. My usual business smile came in handy. Lily was also smiling with a huge grin on her face, thinking as if what she did was amazing. It seems like she's satisfied now. Katie, are you alright? It was Lily's sister, Helen, who spoke to me, all worried, looking at how exhausted I was. I'm really sorry about my sister. It's always so difficult to deal with her, isn't it? Oh, uh, no. I denied it, but to be honest, I was so fed up with Lily that I couldn't manage to lie that well in front of Helen. Living together with Lily, is it difficult? Yes, it actually is. Lily doesn't seem to like me at all. I sighed and complained to Helen about my problems with Lily. Helen had listened to every word I said and finally says, If you have any problems, you can always talk to me. I was moved by her kind and reassuring words, as if she was like my real mother. Yes, I have a kind ally who will help me when I'm really in trouble. I felt a little better and like this, I was able to go on with the New Year's holiday. Thank you and I'm sorry for what happened, Katie. I'm sorry about all the things my mother has said to you. Oh, it's okay. Lily was drunk and because of that, I'm sure she just got carried away. I tried to think so, but I was too naive. Lily's verbal abuse towards me, who didn't try to argue back to her, escalated even more. Steve's relatives likes to hold family events, 
and they usually get together whenever they have the chance. I was sent out forcefully by Lily to help out every single time. Steve tells me that I didn't have to come if I was busy, but Lily would always force me to go. And every time, I would receive verbal abuse from Lily. Katie, don't get all carried away just because you have a job. A wife should always stand three steps behind her husband and quietly watch over him. You think you're unequal with Steve, but he's a better man than you. You don't understand anything. She was verbally abusing me publicly in front of my relatives again. What's so wrong of me working at my job? What's so wrong being in the same position as my husband? Steve tried repeatedly to warn Lily, but I felt very awkward about being everyone's attention on this lively drinking party. All I could do was just sit in silence and listen to Lily's terrible words. Then one day, Lily said something so horrible which made me decide that I could no longer live with her. It was at a family gathering as usual, and Lily, as usual, would be verbally abusive to me to make her feel better. What in the world does my son like about Katie? I really shouldn't have allowed him to marry her. Lily drinks with the relatives while saying such things. She can't even get pregnant, so what's the point of them getting married? Don't you think so? Lily says in a snarly voice, as if she is asking the people around her to agree with her. I felt the air freeze at her words. Steve's hand holding the glass began to shake, and I dropped the tray which I was holding on the floor. What did you just say, mother? Steve asked in a low voice, as if trying to suppress his anger. What do you mean? I only said if she can't get pregnant, what's the point of you and Katie's marriage? I mean, aren't I right? Marriage at 37 means that she's given up on getting pregnant, right? That's why I was against the marriage, but you wouldn't listen to me. It's too late to regret anything. I wonder if Lily really understood the actual meaning of what she was saying. Steve and I definitely wanted kids. Indeed, I'm almost 40, so my chances of getting pregnant are slim. Still, I wanted his child and had just started going through fertility treatments. I didn't tell Lily a word about this. I knew that if I told her, she would criticize me again. Hey, Katie. Let's make this clear once and for all. If you don't want to have kids, then get divorced already. Steve is still young, so he can start over as much as he wants. Okay? At that moment, something inside me had snapped. The wiring that I had worked so hard to endure all this time had snapped with the words kids and divorce. You really hate me, don't you, Lily? Yes, I do hate you. I hate you so much. Lily looks at me smiling as she says that. Okay then, well just now, we are no longer living together anymore. Could you please leave my house, Lily? What are you talking about? You're crazy. You joke too much in front of all my relatives, and it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I'm not joking at all. You cannot stay in our house any longer. I declared firmly. Obviously, sensing a change in the atmosphere, all the relatives instantly moved away from us. Hey, what are you talking about? Well, if you hate me so much, then why are you living in our house? You have no right to demand me to leave. Oh, yes I do. That house is mine. It is up to me whether I let you live there or kick you out, Lily. Lily looks really shocked. Wait a minute, Steve! What's the meaning of all this? Lily asks Steve for help. Mom, I told you many times, didn't I? Don't make fun of Katie too much. Steve responded coldly. I told you that Katie built that house by herself, didn't I? Why can't you even remember something so important? Because, normally, it should be the husband who builds the house, right? 
Lily would always think that the husbands are the ones who built houses to provide for their family. Steve just sighed and continued. And I was against moving in with you, mother. But Katie insisted on having you live with us, so I had no choice. So that's enough. If you make fun of my wife anymore, even if you're my own mother, I will not allow it. Lily, with tears in her eyes, argues back. Excuse me? No way! You're kidding, right? Steve, aren't you on my side? Your side? I'm more like your enemy, mother. I can't believe that you're my own mother who verbally abuses my own beloved wife like this. Oh, Steve, why? Lily burst into tears and tried to hang on to Steve desperately, but it was already too late. Anyways, please pack your bags by the end of this week. As I said this, Lily looked at me with despair. No way! Katie, please, wait a minute. I apologize for everything I've done, so let's continue to live happily together, okay? She says as if nothing had happened. I can't do that. I can't live any longer with someone who doesn't have a shred of gratitude. No! I want to continue to spend time with you both, okay? Please stay away from me. And please get out of my house as soon as possible. I am the landlord here. I told her with no remorse. Mother, it is what it is, so get ready to leave. We won't help you. Lily had heard her son and his wife demand for her to leave the house all in front of her relatives. Only few people sympathized with her. It was because everyone knew what she had been saying this whole time. Katie, good job. Thank you. It was Steve's aunt, Helen, who approached us after. Actually, this whole idea was Helen's. We have to teach my sister a lesson. Katie, you did a good job. Steve, you have to protect your wife. Auntie, thank you for helping me save Katie. Helen and I had actually been in touch with each other frequently. When I couldn't stand Lily's abuse, I would always consult to Helen about it. Helen always supported me gently. But won't it be a trouble for you, Helen, from now on? It's okay. Don't you worry about such things. I will be monitoring Lily from now on. So you both should just think about living your lives first. Thank you so much. I really couldn't thank her enough. After that, I asked Lily to leave our house as planned. Helen was the one who strictly got angry at Lily although she resisted to the very end. This is what you did to yourself. Why don't you reflect about all the things you've said that hurt people's feelings? Helen came over to pick Lily up, and that was how she left our house. Supposedly, Lily repeatedly went over to Helen and asked if Helen could also beg us to forgive Lily and to accept her back again. But to that, Helen yelled at Lily. That's enough! Think about how they feel and how they don't want anything to do with you anymore. Lily cried like a little child and said bitterly, That woman brainwashed my son and made him her own. After Lily was kicked out of our house, she began living alone. I don't know where she lives, but I don't need to know that anymore. And we also moved out of our home. In fact, Steve had just been transferred and I had just submitted my transfer request. The house was originally built with my parents' inheritance, so there was no mortgage and it was easy to sell it. We made some money after selling the house and this made life a little more comfortable. If Lily were to visit our previous home, she would surely feel lonely and hopeless. We knew this and chose to part ways. Katie, I'm home! Welcome home, honey. I greeted Steve at the door with my big stomach. I'm looking forward to our baby. I'm finally becoming a father. I'm counting on you, sweetie. Soon, we will be parents. Steve is determined to protect me, even if he has to cut ties off from his own mother. No matter what happens, 
We can get through it as a couple. I'm so glad that I married him. I believe that with all my heart. <laughs>